So for the next activity, uh, we're going to do something completely different. So if you've saved your work, go ahead, save your work, and then just choose File New. You'll know you're in a new file when it says Untitled up here. And actually, I'm going to make it so different, I'm actually going to get rid of the cat. So I can either right-click on the cat and say Delete, or I can come down here to my list of sprites and right-click on the cat and say Delete. So I've got no sprites, nothing showing up, no scripts selected, and, and all I have is a stage. So I'm going to get a new sprite, but instead of choosing one from the library, and instead of painting a new one, I'm going to um, upload one from a file. Now, I don't have it yet, so what I've done just really quickly is uh, I've posted my picture here um, so that you can uh, either download the picture this way or uh, you can download the picture this way and save image as and save it into a folder that you know where it is. Uh, if you get your photo or your friend's photo or a celebrity photo, uh, it's sort of irrelevant. You just need to have a photo. And then we're going to upload that photo. So I happen to know where I've saved it to. So there it is. And then I'm, I'm basically going to trash this photo. But I want to do it in a way that's not quite like Photoshop because we want to make it more game. Uh, we want to make it more sensitive, game-like. And Photoshop kind of once you do it, it's done. Whereas in this situation, um, we want to make it interactive. So with uh, our events palette, we're going to get when the green flag is clicked. And under the control palette, grab a forever. These are kind of our two basic building blocks that we use over and over again. And this time, we're going to change the looks of the picture. And so if I go down under the purple looks palette, I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And 11 down. I'm going to get set color effect to zero. Now I don't want change at this point. If you want to experiment with change later on, you certainly can. And if I put that in, so this is my code block. Unfortunately, this will do nothing. This will be no change at all because the color effect of zero is regular. So if I hit uh, the green flag, you'll notice there's no change and I press stop. But instead, what I want this to do is I want this color effect to be interactive. I want it to sense something. And so in this case, in the sensing, I'm going to go to um, the baby blue sensing area, and I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to mouse X. Okay? So there's mouse X. And as I drag it over top of the white zero area, you'll notice how it highlights, and I can just let it go, and it fits itself in. So now when I run the green flag, now I have to do it slowly because my computer's um, not all that adept, but as I slowly move my mouse along, you'll notice that the color of the image changes based on where the X value of the mouse is. So the X value of the cursor. So where the tip of that arrow point is. Okay, so my computer's really slowed down. Hopefully yours is doing that quite quickly. I'm just going to press stop again. And what you'll notice is that we can make this more interesting by adding a second set color effect. Uh, for some reason, it's still, ah, there we go. So I could just right click on that and say duplicate, and, and there's the duplicate. But um, just in case you didn't know where you got those from, it was under the looks palette. And I went down and got set color effect to zero. And then in the sensing, baby blue sensing area, I, this time instead of getting mouse X, I'm going to get mouse Y. And you really want to make sure that these are different. Um, because if these are both the same, then the computer is going to be fighting over the different uh, qualities. And also it says set color. And you notice the black triangle. So there's actually a whole different um, group of choices. I'm just going to choose, oh, I'll choose fish eye for right now. And so now, as my mouse goes side to side, which is the X value, it's going to change the color. But as my mouse goes up and down, it's going to change the fish eye effect. So let's give this a try and see how it goes. So green flag. And you can see here that the picture changes based on uh, where my mouse is. So as I go side to side, the picture mostly stays the same but changes color. And as I go up and down, the picture gets really, really, really distorted, but will mostly stay the same color. Okay, So mine has got a significant delay right now. I'm just using an older computer to make these videos. 
but hopefully you can notice all kinds of interesting uh, changes and please feel free to experiment with the different drop down menu choices uh, color fisheye mosaic ghost um, should provide you with a little bit uh, of interesting fun and believe it or not we're actually going to use some of these settings later on in uh, some of the games or animation that we're going to build so I need you to understand just how to set um, some of the effects and later on if you want to do change some of the effects you can do that as well